Well, howdy there, guys. Welcome back to Stewie MTG. And today, in my uh, birthday unboxing, we've got this single pack of Dominaria United Sub Booster and this bundle, uh, used to be called a fat pack, uh, now with eight set boosters and a bunch of other stuff. Um, I'll open this in a second and let's take a look on the packaging. Uh, we've got 20 traditional foil lands, 20 basic lands, uh, a foil herd migration, a spin down, and a card box uh, with a fancy tamper evidence tape. Now, well, let's go ahead and start with the single pack first, shall we? So, my uh, birthday was last week, the big 4-0, four, four the big 40. And so, these were presents between uh, uh, my family and friends, and actually even, in a way, my church uh, gave me a birthday card. So, with that, what have we got here? An interesting art card. We got ourselves a mountain, citizen's arrest, a negate. That'll look good in foil. Benosh sleeper, Yavamaya steel crusher. That'll go in the ape deck. Queen Alanal of Rudach, I guess is how you pronounce that. Yamavaya iron clasp, line breaker Bayloth. Raf rather light weather light stalwart Bortuk Bone Rattle Got ourselves a Shivan Reef. Hey, I, I, I like pain lands. Extinguish the light, and we actually have a list card, Shashiro the Anointed. Other snakes you control get plus two plus two. Whenever a snake you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Excellent uh, snake command. Commander, um, I think I already have this in my snake deck. If not, he's going in there. And with that, let's set up these uh, piles here a little bit differently. Some rares and foils. All right, let's open up this bundle. So I know Dominaria is not the, the newest, best, or greatest thing out right now. But once again, like Chris always is, Chris is a little bit behind the curve. Um, big question for you guys, is anybody buying Unfinity at all? Um, and what about the big confusion with the, uh, different foil treatments and, and borders? So here we have a little Dominary United mini poster. Uh, I think my daughter will like to put that up in a row. So here we have the box. Let's open this bugger up. So here we have our interesting new pa wax packaging, regular bundle, foil bundle. Um, this used to be in plastic shrink wrap. I wonder why they switched the old, it almost looks like the old baseball card wrappers, but not as thick, uh, you know, with, not with printing. Um, wow. Okay. That's interesting. I haven't seen that before. So we have our spin down. We've got our eight packs. What's also very interesting about this, I didn't watch a video on this before, but now there's an, an insert with some punch out tokens and some art cards. Interesting. Okay, wizards. Um, although I will admit I do like this removable tray that's in the new bundles, or uh, I'll probably still call them fat packs. Although it used to be fat packs used to come with ten packs, and now just eight for the same price. It's kind of like the old the. Uh, Fast, fast food wars of the burgers costing the same price, but everything getting smaller. So what have we got here? We've got uh, On Your Turn. Those are great. And a little reminder how to attack and block and cast spells. So where did my... 
premium card go? Unless it's in one of these. Um, well, okay, we'll figure it out. Let's crack these open. Needless to say, I don't normally buy a whole lot of sealed product of Magic. I predominantly buy singles or trade for singles. Art card here. Foil Swampy. Destroy Evil. Ooh, that's got to go in one of my Angel decks. Tattered Apparition. Impede Momentum. Neshoba Brawler. Phoenix Chick. Ooh, Phoenix Chick. Fires of Victory. Erg, Spawn of Turg. Rona, Shieldred's Faithful. And Sarah, Redeemer. Excellent. Oh, we gotta love Angels. We've got Astor, Bearer of Blades, a second rare for the pack. And a Foil, Molten tib Tributary. Excellent. And a Saproline token. All right, second pack. Six minutes in, and I've only... This is now the third pack I'm opening. Hopefully you guys don't mind the longer videos. Hopefully you're breaking the trend of modern instantaneous entertainment. Oh, wow, look at that. Here is art card. A foil. Wow, look at that forest. I'm going to skip to the... Uncommons, Joda's Codex, Cut Down, Balduvian Atrocity, Bard, Argovian Recruiter, Tyrannical Pit Lord, Defiler, oh, the Defiler of Flesh. I was hoping to get one of these. This Defiler series is excellent. Let me know what you guys think of the Defilers um, and if you're going to be putting them into your decks. We got Aggressive Sabotage as the foil and a Monk token. I'm going to pack four of the video. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I think that'll be the art card for my... Um... Oh, that is Balinor. Side note. Currently building Balinor. Uh, for my, a bird tribal, and there's the art card that goes with it. Very cool. Not complaining one little bit. Land. Scout of the Wilderness. And let's fast forward to the Uncommons. Warhost Frenzy. Rada Coalition Warlord. Walking Bulwark. Golem. Ooh. Tatiova Steward of Tides, the new Tatiova. Vohar, Herd Migration, that's the first rare, and the foil is Bog Badger, with a Sapperling token, which I can always use for my Sapperling deck. Take another sip of my tea over here. Another pack open. These are opening nice and easy. It's, I've had packs recently that just don't want to open. Very cool artwork. I like the artwork cards. Furious Bellow. Coalition Warbrute. And Blight Bi Pile. Wing Mantle Chaplain. Transcribed Tablet. Nael. Drag to the bottom. We've got a Czar Ojanin. And foil. I like the, the foil plus the stained glass artwork. And for the list slot, we've got Vivictus Vic, this, as Madi. Excellent. I like those. Extra list rares. And that's why I like the set boosters rather than the draft boosters. Although, big question. Who here watching my channel actually plays draft anymore? I haven't done a draft since... I was just figuring this out the other day. The original Zendikar was the last time I played in a draft. You guys see how that happened? 
the bottom ripped off and might have to use the good old teeth on this one. Wasn't I just saying a minute ago how easy these were to open? Yeah, now it wants to be stubborn. Of course. I said something and then of course the opposite happens, right? There we go. Ooh, beautiful angel artwork. Hey, I already got that card earlier. Excellent. Another beautiful mountain. Not foily this time, but it's a land nonetheless. Relic of Legends. Raph Weatherlight Stalwart. Braid's Fateful Return. Najal, the Storm Ruiner. Rattlebrinsk of Urborg. For the rare, second rare, Leyline of Binding. We've got a Gitu Amplifier as the foil. And a Soldier Token. Just three packs to go, guys. Now after this, I'm going to be sorting and uh, some of these cards are going to be going in these piles right up here. The deck's still to be made. Oh, another beautiful angel card. That is lovely. Island. I'm going to head off to the Uncommons. Phyrexian. Oh, I mixed up my piles here. Missionary, Aaron, Benelia's Ruin, Cult, Conscript, Skeleton, Lagavos, Quirion, Beast Collar, Territorial, Morrow, Elemental, Foil, and a Junk. Alrighty, keep going here. No, no big craziness. Unlike that first pack of Dominary United that it opened, in well, my opinion. Foil Swampy. Fast forward to Uncommons, Children's Restoration, Rona, Rona's Vortex, Relic Mons, Alas Core, Plaza of Heroes. An arriving necromass as the foil with a treasure token. And the last pack uh, before we get to the lands. And see that again? Disintegrating on me. I wonder what they did differently in these packs. I don't know. You never know with wizards, right, guys? And what have we got here? Urtai. Forest. On to the uncommons. Djinn of the Fountain. Tatiova. Coral Colony. Aaron. The Cruelty of Gix. Broken Wings and no list card. I can't complain. Had enough list cards. Let's open up this. Yeah, it kind of feels like the old wax baseball packs. There's our herd migration uh, specialty foil and oh my goodness. You guys see this? It's, it's come through on the camera a little bit but these are half Pringles unfortunately. Can you see that at the top? Oh these are miscut. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, these are miscut um, there's more space on the bottom than there is on the top. And is that a sharp corner? Yeah, that's a sharp corner. Uh, these are going to be going up on a Facebook group that deals in misprints and that. Sorry. Or if you guys are watching this and are interested, get a hold of me. That is interesting. See if they did the same thing with this one. Corners seem better. And the spacing 
on the card seems better. Yes, much better. All righty. Well, this has been my fat pack. 15 minutes in. Sorry. With that, stay tuned as I crack open this game night box. With that, this has been Stewie MTG, and I will see you all later.